uh, definitely. So I uh, went into NYU with an offer from Stern. Um, so I knew for sure that I wanted to go to business school um, before you know, I came to college before my freshman year, but I definitely had no idea what I was going to do once I was there. Um, and I think this applies for a lot of people that, you know, do liberal arts or any other um, field like history or media. There's just so much, so many options out there. Uh, our generation is super spoiled for options. And in a way, it's a good thing, um, especially when you're this young and like in college, because you just get to spend all of these semesters exploring different classes, um, trying to pick and choose what you're interested in and what you want to do. Um, and so I ended up uh, with two majors. Um, I did a major in finance, which was something that I decided earlier on. Um, so it's something I would say like halfway through freshman year, even by the end of freshman year, I knew that one of the majors that I wanted to do was finance, but the second one was still a big question mark up until I would say junior year, uh, where I was taking more classes and I realized that it would be great if I can get some technical skills. And so I decided to pick up a data science uh, major. Um, and one other thing over there is, and the, one of the big reasons, I'm not gonna lie, that I took data science is that it's a STEM major. Um, and so I get three years of work authorization um, right out of college, um, which was obviously a great selling point, especially because I, in my junior year, uh, Trump got elected. And so, um, you know, a lot of, that was like a big red flag for international students, obviously, who wanted to stay um, in the country because a lot of companies now were not sponsoring visas um, for jobs for international students. So um, yeah, that was my journey and the two, um, concentrations or majors that I picked up at Stern. Um, I also did a minor at in studio art at Steinhardt, which is another school within NYU. Um, that's one of the advantages of um, US colleges in general. Um, you can also kind of stray away from your main school um, and try to take classes outside of school. It's actually a requirement uh, to take certain credits outside of your school. And that way you can explore other areas that you would have otherwise not considered. Um, and that's how I ended up with an art minor. Um, and to be honest, there are so many resources at schools, whether it is um, clubs, whether it is advising, um, whether it is, you know, your peers, maybe you have some seniors from your high school that were at the same um, college or like two, three years above you. Um, there are all of these resources available and of course, professors um, are a great resource as well. That Fantastic. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good uh, summary of your journey. Specific yeah. to uh, a day in the life of a NYU Stern student, there are many students I work with currently who who have this question. What is, what is business school like at the undergrad stage? Why should we do business uh, at the undergrad stage? You can always look at it as an MBA. Uh, so there are two questions. One is like, what is it? special what is so special about the day or you know how the week is planned what yeah is and then of course the difference between doing an undergrad versus an mba yeah um that's an interesting question um i feel like a lot there's a, this misconception that when you go to business school you have to be like in a suit every day or at least that was the misconception for stern it just happened to be um that a lot of kids on campus were either working part-time at uh, in an office where they needed to wear a suit or people were always recruiting or networking, um, which is why they were like dressed professionally. Um, but typically when you're a freshman, sophomore, um, you know, you look like a regular freshman and sophomore, it's nothing crazy. Um, I think one of the big selling points for um, going to business school is just getting, a, like there's always that argument that you could do an MBA um, instead. Uh, but I think with business school as undergrad, it's essentially giving you a head start on, you know, the business world, whether it is, you could, you could be interested in anything. Like you could want to work at a hedge fund. You could want to go into investment banking and then private equity um, or, you know, investments um, like wealth management, private wealth, um, et cetera. There's so many options once you enter 
uh, the finance world and you get to explore them at a very young age and kind of figure out what it is that you're interested in. Um, I think MBA school, a lot of the value comes from the title itself, as well as the networking opportunities that you get from MBA schools. Um, and those exist even at undergrad, of course, you're going to be networking, no matter what school you're in, you're going to be making friends with people um, that you may eventually have business connections with. Um, but I personally, now that I have an undergrad from business school, don't think I need an MBA unless it was for a job opportunity or for a promotion. Um, so, That's yeah. great. So your first job was in a startup investment fund. Uh, and so many students uh, who are looking at finance would want to know more about uh, different tracks for career paths in mm -hmm. terms of uh, finance majors. What are the typical route students took to find uh, jobs and opportunities in this field? Could be iBanking, funds, et cetera. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think some of the main uh, or most popular uh, fields, I would say, from Stern at least, were consulting, um, investment banking, sales and trading, um, and then maybe wealth management, I would put as like the fifth um, option. Um, and so even within investment banking, then there's capital markets, um, there's like DCM, ECM, like debt side, equity side, there are different groups within investment banking. Um, there's also risk management, which is a separate like team division uh, that a lot of people go into. Um, so there are a lot of options. Um, consulting, um, accounting are like pretty separate, um, but they're also pretty popular. Um, there are, you know, just like a lot of consulting jobs available in New York. Um, and so I would say, yeah, those are the main. So how was how was your journey from the investment fund to now the new startup? Yeah. So. Um, about my journey, I def I started recruiting um, heavily to get a job at one of those big banks, like the big names out there. Um, you know, I saw all of my friends um, recruiting and talking about these prestigious jobs, and I was totally, um, you know, down to kind of race to get the best um, junior year internship out there because that is the most important internship that typically converts into a full-time job. So if you want to work at Morgan Stanley, if you want to work at um, City, you have to get a junior year summer internship, right? So recruiting for that started like end of sophomore year, um, early junior year. And um, I was going down that route. I actually um, did not want to do investment banking because my freshman year summer, I did an investment banking internship in Mumbai and realized that that's not um, something that I'm super interested in and something that will drive me. Um, so I went on the market side and I wanted to go into sales and trading. I ended up uh, getting a sales and trading job at one of the big banks out there. Um, and it was an internship that kind of really helped me solidify what I don't want from my full-time job. And it really helped because it made me decide that I do not want to be working here full time at a really big company. I would rather be at a much smaller company, a startup where I can make a difference, where I can see different aspects of you know business um, and not just kind of be siloed in a particular field. Um, and so I ended up with a full time job at an investment fund, uh, which was a startup and I was their only financial analyst. Um, so it was really exciting. I did you know, I built a lot of models for them. Um, it was new and they were growing. So um, I had to do super random things that I didn't think I would ever do. Um, administrative stuff like accounting, budget, forecasting, etc. And it was really exciting. And um, six months in, I randomly got um, this opportunity came in front of me uh, and I got I ended up getting recruited uh, into this tech startup that I'm currently working at. Um, we are, the company is called Newton X, uh, and we're building this knowledge access platform. It's really great. We're disrupting the market research industry or the recruiting industry. Um, and we're a high growth startup. Uh, so it's, a, it's very different from the path I originally imagined I was going down. Uh, but also something that I figured out on the way I did want to work at a startup where I could play 
uh, multiple roles and wear different hats and just honestly learn about what it's like to run a business, grow a business, because uh, that's something that I, I'm interested in and that I want to do in the future.